Okay, it's Jeff Challen again, and now let's talk about the process of committing. So committing is a computer science word for saving your work, um, and commits allow us to track changes to a project, and the idea here is to commit frequently. So when you get to a point where you have something that you want to save, that's a good time to commit. You can think of committing as a lot like saving your work, and it also is important to do for that very reason. Every time you commit something using Git, the other really cool feature about Git is that Git will never forget that commit, as long as you don't destroy the information that um, it saves locally. So any uh, information, any state of the project that you commit is always a place that you can go back to in the future. So let's um, walk through the process of committing our work. Um, so. The, um, the way to do this in um, IntelliJ is to go to the VCS tab. So that uh, stands for version control system. And you can see here that there's an option to create a commit. So this opens up a dialog that has uh, some interesting information in it. Um, so let's sort of walk through this carefully. There are a couple different panes here. Um, the most important part of this is a, is a commit message. And when you start, programming and you start working with code using version control systems, um, I spent years entering really stupid commit messages like new or changes or things like that. And to be honest, I sometimes still do that when I'm feeling lazy. But this is a chance for you, a human being, to add some important information that describes the changes that you've made. Um, this is to help other people, frequently to help you later when you're reviewing your code and you're trying to figure out what exactly happened at that point. What changed between the previous state of the project and this state of the project. Um, and in order to help you write good commit messages, IntelliJ opens up this window up here that shows you the files that have changed in the repository. So what you can see is that in this case, email.txt, this is the old version of email.txt was empty and the new version has my email address in it. So that's one thing that changed. Um, and the other thing that changed was I made a change to lcm.java. I've changed the lcm function from returning a void to returning zero. So in this case, I'm going to write a commit message that describes those changes in English. So I'm going to say, added my email address and fixed uh, LCM return type. Okay, so this is, again, something that is always worth doing. I know sometimes you'll be in a rush and you won't want to, but I would really encourage you to get in the habit of writing good commit messages because this is a really important chance for you as a human being to help other human beings, again, frequently yourself out uh, when they're trying to understand what happened in a project. And this is incredibly important when you start working with other people because one of your collaborators or your boss, for example, will be trying to figure out, you know, what did Alice accomplish this week? And uh, that person actually looked through your commit messages to find out what you've been doing or to figure out, you know, if something broke in a particular version of a piece of software, what are some of the possible causes? Okay, so when I'm done, I can click on the commit uh, message uh, button down here. And in this case, I'm just gonna hit commit. Um, and this is okay, this is a nice warning from IntelliJ, but I'm gonna ignore it for now. Um, and when you're done, IntelliJ pops up a nice uh, message here that says two files were committed um, and tells, gives you the commit message. So this is committing. Um, now, the other thing I wanna show you is if you try to commit again, um, IntelliJ will tell you, hey, there's nothing to commit. This is actually Git telling you this. Uh, Git doesn't allow you to create a commit when nothing has changed. Uh, so there's nothing to save, no changes detected. If I want to create a new commit, I need to do some more work. Um, so that's the process of committing. Uh, commit frequently, commit early, commit often. Uh, make this part of your standard workflow. So anytime you earn a few more points on the assignment, commit your work, describe what you did. Um, and of course, you definitely need to commit before you submit your work because the commits are the things that we're actually going to grade.